Hello everybody, this is Abhyuday Cha. Hello everybody, this is Abhyuday Cha and I welcome to you to my video today. Okay, so we are uploading chess. And today I want to review a brilliant game played by Andre Steiner and Jose Capablanca in the Budapest tournament in 1929. Andre Steiner was, uh, was um, a Hungarian grandmaster with a peak rating of 2644 and Jose Kaplavanka was um, a Cuban grandmaster with the peak rating of 2725. With all of this said, let us jump into the game. But before that, I would like to also say that a little bit of a spoiler that Jose Clap Capablanca used the Noah's Ark trap to completely annihilate. Andre Stein, Steiner and force him to resign. As you see, the game only lasted 11 moves. Well, okay, it didn't only last 11 moves. It actually lasted for 31 moves. But the first 11 moves is the fun part. After that, it's kind of boring. But I will try and share it with you. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm not going to share it. But it is a very interesting game. Forget interesting. It's one of the most interesting games. In this game, Jose Claplablanca forced Andre Steiner to re resign in 31 moves, even though I have only put 11 moves. Okay, let us begin. Start with... We start with E4, E5. The king's pawn opening. Now, it's very rare that you see grandmasters play e4, e5, the king's pawn. You usually see them playing the London system or the queen's pawn or maybe the Sicilian. But it's very rare that you see a king's pawn opening. But we are talking about 1929 when not many openings were known. We have knight f3, knight c6. All is going fine so far. Then we have bishop b5. A6, the bishop is forced to go back to A4, and now we have D6. Now, D4 is played by white, just trying to control the center. And like um, when white black played D4, it pins the knight to the king. And D4 might have the intention of not taking the pawn on e5 but going forward to d to d5 to take the knight over here the move played is b5 removing the pin and threatening the bishop again pretty brilliant move in my opinion i would have played something like um bishop d7 we have bishop to b3, only little square. And then we have a surprising little move. It takes d4. Usually you expect a pawn takes d4. But here it was knight takes d4. Knight takes d4. And pawn takes d4. Now there's a lot of, th a lot of um good, good moves over here. Like... um. Bishop e6. No, no. Oh, Bishop e6. What? Bishop e6 is even a move? You're just sacking. No, wait. That's. No, wait. No, 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 no. A4. A4 is the move. A4, blah, blah, blah. I would personally consider Bishop d5 in a bit good for black, but you are attacking e rook will be forced to move here. But it is the best for the worst. White over here blunders. 
It's actually an inaccuracy according to Stockfish. Queen takes d4. Do you want to know why? Well, over here, white played three brilliant moves in a row. Making sure that white paid for this blunder. C5. Queen D5. Queen D5. Threatening checkmate and taking the rook. Bishop E6. Check. Uh, C C6 check. Bishop D7 block. And now, and now the queen is forced to go here, and the threat of check of taking the rook no longer prevails because of the of queen protecting. But this happens. We have queen to d. We have queen to d five, and thing. Four, closing the bishop and trapping it. Oh my god, next move, white is going to capture the bishop and be almost two points ahead. Well, um, a black, a white could do this, this, and this. And they're only one point ahead. But being one point ahead... Even in a grandmaster in a grandmaster game, it's too bad. I mean, in the next, in the thirty second move, White resigned. White resigned, and I'm not kidding, my man. Meaning, this was the position for a, a, a white. The bishop is trapped. Okay, they do play bishop takes c4, pawn takes c4, queen takes c4. Now we now white is simply uh, white and uh, black is simply winning the game. Whatever is played, white is black is simply going to win no matter what. You are one minor piece down. And e and being even one minor piece down in the endgame can result in a loss. And over here and over here, white is just down too much. Too much and resigns but personally i would have been happy to play this but no that's actually a stupid move but i you know i'm stupid and then what um, um check you check you nope you check and well, here, here, and this mate. Nope, you can go here, here, um, here, 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 and that's that's just mate. So there was a mate upcoming. So I think White just had the right to resign. So guys, this is Andre Steiner versus Jose Capa Blanca. And I hope you stay subscribed and do watch my video about the Noah's Ark trap. I have posted in my second ch channel, Chess Masters. The link is in my channel. If you scroll down, there is a channel called Chess Masters. Click it and you will see about 15 videos of brilliant chess tracks I have posted. Do remember to subscribe.
Yay! And also, do follow my Twitch channel. I I have already started uploading and streaming on my Twitch channel. And I will also, tomorrow or today, I don't know, post a full video introducing my Twitch channel to my YouTube followers. So, this is Abhiyudha Jha, signing out.